Yes, it was almost catastrophic. Luckily, the bomber was an amateur, so it failed to go off. That's because we haven't received any numbers in over a week. The threat to the program is much greater than we thought. Hang on. Our techs were finally able to decode the chip we recovered from Alicia Corwin's body. We've connected the virus to a group called Decima Technologies, a private intelligence outfit working out of Shanghai. Corwin believes someone leaked them a portion of the Northern Lights source code on a laptop. We think Decima is trying to destroy the program. I'm away for your instructions. I won't be needing anything else, Ms. May, other than some privacy. But there are a few things I need, sir. You had to know I'd quit eventually. This is kind of a dead-end job. I mean, you guys don't even offer a 401k. What do you want, Miss May? Information. And be very careful how you answer my questions. A good assistant always knows when her boss is lying. Yes? What did you do to it, Harold? There's no time to be coy. We both know the machine's under attack. What I don't understand is why a robust system with self-annealing properties isn't defending itself against a simple virus. Did you injure it, Harold? Is that why I can't fight back? I have nothing to say to you. You know, we can fight this thing much faster if we work together. There's only a few hours left till something very bad happens. I prefer to work on my own. What about your loyal protector? May I be blunt, Harold? John is capable at certain things, but his skills aren't going to cut it this time. He will never completely understand the larger picture, not, not like we do. Have you two even found Ernest Thornhill yet? He's an interesting guy, isn't he? What do you know? You show me yours and I'll show you mine. Talk to you real soon.